I'm telling you guys, at medium range, this gun right here is the best gun in the game. Welcome everyone, today we're going to be speaking about one weapon in particular that I've been loving in Season 5 and for some reason I feel like they've done something to this weapon in the last few weeks and that is the R301. Now ever since I added a lot of recoil to the R301 back in I think Season 2 or Season 3, I haven't been using the weapon that much, I haven't really been picking it up but lately I've noticed that it has hardly any recoil, specifically when you've got a purple barrel stabilizer attached and I'm figuring out myself. Why is the R301 easier to control the recoil? Have Apex Legends done some sort of secret change to the recoil or do they now make it so it's easier to control? Who knows? And if some of you guys are thinking, well, it wasn't included in the patch notes, well, Unfortunately, they don't include a lot of things in the patch notes. They didn't also include the fact that the L-Star now has 100% accuracy whilst airborne and loads of other things as well that they didn't include in the patch notes. So they might have done something for the r 301 because now I feel like I'm hacking people when I'm using this gun. It's crazy. At medium range, I'm telling you guys right now, this is the best gun in the game. I'll tell you guys why. Because the E-Recoil is so easy to control, I mean, any other weapon in the game doesn't have as less recoil as the R301 and I feel like when I'm at medium range that's when this gun is at its best I mean the R99 is out beaten by the R301 at medium range purely because how much recoil the R99 has and the R301 is just an absolute laser I feel like I'm cheating in a sense that's how easy I think it is you can deal so much damage into enemies and then you can just push them the moment after and if you haven't used the R301 lately I recommend you guys use it because I personally haven't been using it these past few Few months purely because I've been finding other weapons more suitable but for the first time this is my go-to weapon I don't use the G7 Scout I don't really use the Havoc as much I still think the Havoc is a better weapon but as I said at medium range you haven't got that charge up time with the R301 and you can get firing straight away and you haven't got to worry about recoil I know a lot of you guys watching my videos keep telling me I can't control recoil that well in this game I'm struggling controlling the recoil on specific guns well the R301 is your answer right here the R301 is literally the answer to many people's problems because for example the flat line is disgusting to control that thing is the recoil on that gun makes it in my opinion not a great option to be using the only way the flat line is good is if you're up close because of course you don't have to re control the recoil as much but from medium to longer ranges you could completely forget landing most of your shots and also other weapons such as the spitfire the spitfire has horrible recoil and i think recoil is one of the most important things when it comes to a weapon's potential even if a weapon has a lot less damage and it has hardly any recoil i would rather be using that weapon because the likelihood is you're going to land more shots from the medium to longer ranges hence it making it a better weapon when i said to you guys i feel like i'm hacking when i'm using this weapon you guys will see in the background the gameplay sometimes it literally looks like my gun is not moving and i really do think they've done something to this weapon because it doesn't feel fair to use especially when you've got that purple barrel stabilizer so i really recommend you guys try this gun out as I said, nothing was in the patch notes of them changing how the recoil is or the control of the weapon, but I've got a sneaky feeling they've done something to it. I mean, they've done sneaky things in the past. I mean, in Season 5, they also added, uh, as I said earlier, no accuracy loss when airborne with the L-Star. So now when you're in the air with the L-Star, there's 100% accuracy. And also other things such as buffing Octane's hitbox. There are loads of patch notes that aren't even included in the patch notes themselves so they're quite sneaky i don't know why they don't include everything but i know that i'm not the only one that thinks the r301 has had some sort of change to it because lately it feels like how the old r301 was and if any of you guys played this game in the beginning phase the r301 was one of the strongest weapons because it had hardly any recoil in the game and that's how i feel like it is now i don't think it's as good as it was within the first few seasons but i definitely have noticed some sort of change with the r301 I honestly think the R301 right now is the meta. I mean, I can't see any other weapon being better than this weapon, especially from them medium range engagements, which most of the time you're going to be fighting at their medium range engagements, and then you'll be going to them closer ranges when you push enemies or when enemies push you. But medium range is probably the times where you're fighting enemies the most. And I don't think there is a better gun than the R301 at medium range. If you guys can think of a weapon or you think there is a weapon that is better than the R301 and 
has more potential than medium ranges. Be sure to let me know down below because I don't think there is one weapon in this game that has more potential right now than the R301. It also has a very high DPS and the fact that it has a high DPS and hardly any recoil means it's quite a deadly weapon and not many people are using this gun anymore as they used to back in the old days of Apex Legends. But I just wanted to bring you guys this video because I have been loving loving the r301 lately and i had to just express my love for this gun to you guys today and make it into a video as always if you enjoyed today's video be sure to scroll down give a cheeky like to support the video further and be sure you subscribe into the channel if you're currently not subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos but i'm gonna wrap this video up here i'm gonna hop back onto apex edges and keep using the r301 i recommend you guys do as well and uh, thank you all for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch all of you guys out as always in another brand new Apex Legends video.